I almost fell off my chair when I saw this project, Transformers PHP. If you have ever dealt with web programming in the last 15 to 20 years, I'm sure you are aware of PHP. PHP is one of the traditional languages to build web pages, especially the content oriented websites. PHP, which stands for Hypertext Preprocessor, is a server side scripting language which is mainly used for web development, especially for creating dynamic web pages and web applications. It's an open source language that's executed on the server, generating HTML, cascading style sheets, and JavaScript code that's sent to the client's web browser. PHP has been widely used for building websites, web services, and mobile applications and is particularly popular for content management systems like WordPress and Drupal. There are a lot of good features in PHP like object-oriented programming, database integration, and a large community of developers, but it's an older beast now. Um, it's not that modern, so as you can imagine, now we have all of these very dynamic uh, websites written in all the cool languages of the modern day like Node.js, React and all that stuff. But so PHP is sort of an older thing, I should say. That is why I was very, very surprised when I saw this project where you can now use PHP um, with the help of this Transformers PHP to run your Transformers models locally. So if you are a PHP developer looking to add these Transformer-based AI models to your project, you can use this library. Now, it's a very new project. It is still full of bugs, uh, no surprises there, but I think that still it holds a lot of promise for all of those legacy websites, which are million, and there are millions and millions of them which are running online. So you can simply take this project and embed it in your um, websites. Maybe you can just bring some intelligence to all those WordPress sites. So Transformers PHP is designed to be functionally equivalent to the Python library while still maintaining the same level of performance and ease of use. This library is built on top of the Hugging Face Transformers library, which provides thousands of pre-trained models in 100 plus languages. It is designed to be simple and easy to use library for PHP developers using a similar API to the Python library. These models can be used for a variety of tasks, including text generation, summarization, translation, and much, much more. One thing to be aware of that you can only use this Transformers PHP with ONNX runtime. ONNX is Open Neural Network Exchange uh, runtime, which enables you to run the models locally in the engine. And in order to, so if you have a PyTorch or TensorFlow model, you would need to first convert to ONNX and you can do so with the optimum library from Hugging Face. It's very fairly easy to convert it and uh, you can access it on Hugging Face. It is going to tell you step by step how to do it. It's not that hard. But if you don't want to do it, no worries. Uh, I'll show you. These are the models which are already there which you can readily use in your PHP code. Now, how can you use it? Let me quickly show you the code. So if you look at, so this is a JavaScript and this is a PHP. So you see, all you need to do is to include this here in your code, run the pipeline, and that's about it. You can simply do the inference with it, with this model for the sentiment analysis. And this is the equivalent Python code, which we almost do uh, use daily. Now, how can you get it installed? Uh, I'm not going to do it the hands-on, but I'm just going to show you the commands as how you can get it installed um, with the PHP. Now I'll be upfront. Um, the reason why I am not showing you uh, the hands-on because it's not working on Linux for me. I have tried like for three hours. There are a lot of bugs which need to be fixed and I think it is still uh, in preview so I will wait for a few more weeks to see how this project goes but I think it holds a lot of promise especially in terms of I think monetary purposes if you want to uh, if you're a PHP developer or WordPress developer Drupal developer 
and if you want to embed it ai into your existing websites based on those tools you can simply use this library to offer new features so i think it's a good avenue to uh, you know make some money out of it i believe and don't forget to send me the commission please okay now in order to use it uh, first you need to of course install php if you haven't already so on linux this is a command to do so like i'm just doing the apt-get on the ubuntu and then you would also need this composer and compo composer is a dependency manager for php it helps you manage and install third party libraries and packages required by your php project and composer ensures that the correct versions of dependencies are installed and are up to date and that is why we are installing the composer with this command once composer is installed i'm just moving it to my bin directory to make sure that it is accessible and runnable and then to make it executable we are changing the permission on it and then if you want to check you can simply check it with the command composer dash v and maybe i will quickly show you where i have used it on my screen so you see i was just trying to run this uh, earlier um, and it is giving me a lot of error this is the last error which i has received anyway so if i do that maybe composer dash v this is a composer which i installed there so it runs fine i have checked it out with various php code there so this is a composer as you can see let's go back to the vs code now um, if you're a php developer and if you think that i'm doing something wrong please let me know happy to retry it so afterwards the uh, now um the way they have shown is to just use this command and it download on line number 17 it downloads this php transformers and runs it but for me it doesn't run at all it just give it doesn't simply download it it couldn't find the pre-release version maybe it is uh but it is available in the repo so there is some bug there which uh doesn't let it do it so what i did i simply manually downloaded it i untarred it into the directory of um, distribution in the current project directory and then make sure that you go to this php.ini file which is a configuration file for php let me take you back to the party let me clear the screen and if you run this command make sure that you set this ffi.enable is equal to true and also uncomment uh, this one and then you would need to restart your apache web server of course and once you've done that uh, so last command is restart apache and that's about it and then you can embed it in your code just like i showed you on their uh, repo page where they have shown us the example let me take you back there and just quickly show you this is the one i'm talking about and then supposedly this should work and that's all, all about it but as i said still very very early days a lot of bugs there so i will wait but i think holds a lot of promise and other than that i think it is quite amusing to see that now people have started embedding this transformers and ai into all these uh, ancient languages um, maybe next one is COBOL, fortran who knows that's it guys let me know your thoughts if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching